My question is, because I grew up in Albuquerque, what, <laughs> was there any cool places, anything that you liked being there? Like, how, how was it? Because <laughs> it's my hometown. So I want to know, how'd you like it? Well, did you have fun there? <laughs> yeah, I'd go and visit your mother once in a while. That's... Like, I, I realized how nervous I looked and that, you know, he was looking at me like, oh, wow, he's clearly he's nervous. So I, I honestly just like didn't didn't even think that was going to be his response even a little bit. If you if you listen to the video, I'm like, wow, that's mean. But I was trying to be funny, too, because I had no idea what to say. The reason I asked Cranston the question was because Zach Levi, the guy asking all the questions, uh, I had talked to earlier, and earlier in the panel, he mentioned that I was from Albuquerque. I was extremely nervous. I'm not great at public speaking, and it wasn't, it wasn't because he was famous or anything. It was because the room I was in had 200 people. There was 200 eyes looking at me, and then halfway through what, what I was like looking at, you know, halfway through my question, I look up and see that I'm on the big screen that they have out there. And then I just really just started to stumble over my words at that point. I was more like, wow, this is going to suck when I get back home. <laughs> like, everybody's going to give me crap. But he's really nice. Like, he's, he's funny about it. He didn't do it to be mean. I clearly didn't take it that way. I laugh. If you watch the video, I laugh hysterically. I thought it was hilarious. Smiles at the end. But I, it, I clearly didn't take it that way. I mean, he seemed, it seemed more like he realized I was nervous. Yeah. And it was like, well, clearly this kid is nervous. I've probably asked the, answered this question at least a hundred times. Let's just, let's give him something to think about, you know? Let's give him something funny. Then I started to like, then so I got a like text from one of my friends. It's like, dude, it's over a million views. I was like, no, no, there, no, it isn't. There's no way. And so that's the point where I was like, wow, this is a bigger deal than I thought, you know? Then I, you know, got told it was on the local news. Then I got told that it was on San Diego News. Then I was told that, then I, you know, looked it up actually, and it was on CNN website, everything. I'd say I was honored to get burned by Brian Cranston, and that it was a good comeback.